Autodesk AutoCAD was first introduced to the world way back in 1982, when Conan the Barbarian was in cinemas and CAD software looked a bit like this. But despite its age, its relevancy and popularity are as strong as ever with professionals worldwide. Its user-friendly interface and powerful features have made it an industry-leading tool for 2D design workflows, and it's more recently introduced powerful 3D design capabilities, adding to its impressive arsenal. In this video, I'm going to help you understand what specifications you need to get the very best and build the ultimate AutoCAD workstation. Right, so I'm Craig Hume, Managing Director at Utopia Computers, an awesome system builder of all sorts of incredible computers based in Scotland. On this channel, I share tips for all things technology, as well as sharing up some of the lessons I've learned from running a business all these years. If that sounds like your kind of thing, then please consider hitting the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our videos. In this video, I'm going to focus on how to get the very best performance out of Autodesk AutoCAD. Heads up, I'm not looking at the minimum requirements or the not bad requirements. You can get that elsewhere. I'm going to be talking about how to get the very best performance for those of you who are power users looking to squeeze every last bit of efficiency out of your workflow. But more importantly, I'm also not just listing the most expensive parts. Each part has earned its place through actual testing and benchmarking by my team. So in this video, I'm going to also give a shout out to some value alternatives for students and startups as there are a few good options for you to consider if you find yourself in this category. So sit back and by the end of this video, I'm going to be giving you the know-how to configure the ultimate AutoCAD workstation in 2022. So let's start by looking at the CPU. What CPU do you need to get the very best for AutoCAD? Choosing a workstation processor comes down to how you intend to use your machine. 12th gen Intel Core CPUs should be the choice for users of vanilla CAD and BIM with some lightly threaded workflows thrown into the mix. That means the latest 16 core Intel Core i9 12900K or the 12 core i7 12700K are the top of my must have list. But older i9 and i7 CPUs are still strong performers when benchmarking in AutoCAD. However, AMD really isn't all that far behind performance wise in these areas. AMD is also a strong contender for those who multitask. And if ray trace rendering is also part of your day-to-day -day workflow, then the AMD Ryzen 9 5950X is a hands-down winner all day long. We love that processor here at Utopia. Now, I mentioned CPU cores. Do you need more cores in AutoCAD to make it run faster? Well, as of today in 2022, we have found having more than eight cores really gives no extra performance in the 2D AutoCAD space. What you're looking for are high frequency chips. Move over to 3D images and rendering, then you are going to want to look at 10 cores plus. And these CPUs are also going to want to have a boost clock of above 4 GHz for you to get the best performance for your money. Now, does AutoCAD work better with Intel or AMD? Well, like I said, if you're going to top end, then it actually now works great with both Intel and AMD. But if you're on a bit of a budget, then stick with Intel. The 12th gen core CPUs but they really do hit the sweet spot for price against performance. So what about Xeon or Threadripper CPUs for AutoCAD? It is a question we get asked from time to time and the assumption is often that the more expensive the processor, the better it's gonna perform. But this is very dependent on the applications you are gonna be using. Xeon chips are just not a great option for AutoCAD. The extra features they bring to the table like ECC memory support, large cache, enterprise level, reliability, well these things just don't benefit AutoCAD performance and they do come a large financial premium. So stick with Intel's Core Series chips or AMD's Ryzen chips for the best performance in AutoCAD. Threadripper is technically an option if you're going to be using the system for heavy rendering, but I've not seen over the years many users that multitask in that way. So what GPU is best for AutoCAD? 2D design work doesn't really ask much from your graphics card, but in professional environments, we do recommend using professional grade graphics cards to guarantee a stable and reliable platform. Autodesk certifies NVIDIA Quadro range of graphics cards to maximize system compatibility and reliability. Quadro drivers are also highly optimized to run Autodesk products, ensuring the very best performance possible for end users. Now remember I said there was going to be a special shout out for students and startups. 
Well, your GPU is it. When you're on a budget, opt for a GeForce GPU. Yes, they're not certified by Autodesk, and yes, they're designed for gaming, but you're not going to be paying for the Autodesk support, and you're going to be able to save money on your GPU, and that's going to be better spent elsewhere on your system, or even on your education or your business. So in using a GeForce GPU, also make sure that you're using the studio drivers. These are optimized for workstations workflow and will give you the very best performance. Now, can you get away with onboard graphics in AutoCAD? Technically, yes, it will run, but it's gonna be slow. And even a basic GPU is gonna give you twice the performance in GPU accelerated tasks. There's also the question of video memory, but we'll answer that one next. So how much VRAM, that's video card memory, does AutoCAD need? Well, we recommend a low to mid-range NVIDIA Quadro card with at least two gigabytes of VRAM for 2D workflows. If you are planning on using 3D models or other 3D applications such as Autodesk Inventor, then we would recommend eight gigabyte Quadro cards, something like an RTX A4000. It's also worth keeping in mind that any reasonable graphics card with say 16, sorry, six gigabytes or above it's gonna give headroom for 4K displays or multi-monitor setups, which are popular in this area. So how much RAM does AutoCAD need? It's a really good question. And while the exact amount of RAM you're gonna need is gonna depend on the size and complexity of the models you work with, we generally recommend a minimum of 16 gigabytes for all our systems. AutoCAD, including light rendering, is actually fairly light on RAM. Autodesk itself only recommends eight gigabytes of RAM. However, given the relatively low cost of RAM these days and the fact that most users tend to have more than just AutoCAD running on their systems, again, think about Chrome, Office 365, Cloud Backup, Internet Security, you get the idea. We feel that 16 gigabytes is a way better starting point. Now, if you're working on very large or complex models, large number of files open at the same time, you might want to consider upgrading to 32 gigabytes in extreme circumstances more. Now moving on to storage, what kind of storage drive should you have in AutoCAD? Well, okay, basically you've only got two options, a mechanical hard drive or some kind of solid state drive. Mechanical drives are fine for long-term storage. They offer vast amounts of space for really very li relatively little money. SSDs and M.2 SSDs on the other hand, they are more expensive, but they offer huge performance gains for that money. The faster M.2 NVMe drives in this segment are worth considering as they will help system boot times and application load times. I've done a whole video on these and I'll link that below. Once in AutoCAD, it's worth pointing out, NVMe drives aren't gonna make really any noticeable difference in performance. My recommendation here for minimum for AutoCAD is to have at least one good sized SSD. Now, what storage configuration would I recommend? Well, for everyday use, that single SSD is gonna be just fine. But if you want a pro level setup, then you're best to thinking about having maybe two or three drives in your system. Yeah, it gets a little bit more complicated when you're looking at performance setups, but I'm gonna guide you through that now. So why do we need three drives? Well, your first drive is gonna be for Windows, AutoCAD, and any other applications you use, like Inventor, Microsoft Office, etc. The SSD or M.2 NVMe drive, uh, if your budget allows, is kind of what you want to go for here, like I mentioned earlier. Now the second drive is kind of a working drive for your active projects, think about your models, other live files. Technically mechanical drives are okay for this, but again, if your budget allows, an SSD or NVMe drive will ensure a very smooth workflow. And then finally, for the ultimate setup, you're gonna to wanna to add a third drive. This could be an SSD or a mechanical drive, and you're gonna use this for long-term storage. In larger, more mature work environments, network storage is gonna be replacing this third drive, allowing you to both back up your data away from your PC and collaborate with other people in your business. No. Now, to conclude, my hot pick for a great AutoCAD workstation 2022 looks like this. A single threaded performance processor. The higher the frequency, the better. Aim for a CPU that's gonna hit four gigahertz or above if your budget allows. If you're gonna be rendering or heavy multitasking, then consider moving over to a high-end Ryzen CPU. You're gonna want a dedicated NVIDIA Quadro GPU, ideally with eight gigabytes of VRAM for more to support 4K screens or multi-monitor setups. 16 gigabytes of RAM if you're a prosumer user and 32 gigabytes if you're gonna be working on extremely large projects. SSD or NVMe storage for your operating system and software a secondary drive to keep all your project files on and potentially a third drive or network attached storage for you to use for long-term storage and collaboration. So there you go, 
I hope you've found this video useful. If you have any questions and you would like to discuss your next CAD desktop, you can speak to one of Utopia's friendly experts who will guide you through purchasing one of our award-winning Sonox workstations. If you're a CAD user and you've got any tips for other AutoCAD users, then please be sure to share them in the comments. Please hit sub if you've enjoyed the video so that you don't miss the next one. Cheers.